Uh, I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while, and I uh, wasn't entirely sure what I was going to say, so I'm just going to wing it and see what happens. Uh, long story short, it's about the whole gender fluid thing. Um, uh, yeah, no one really asks questions about it, and I don't really talk about it, because, you know, how do you bring something like that up in the middle of conversation? So uh, I figured I'd just kind of give the rundown to kind of inform everyone as to uh, what it all means, and, uh, you know, various terms and stuff that, you know, keep in mind if you want to research it or whatever. Uh, long story short, gender fluid means that uh, it falls into the transgender category, by the way, so if you need to categorize me as something, like in the LGBT, I'd be in the T section. But, uh, yeah, long story short, uh, sometimes I'm a guy, sometimes I'm a girl, it's basically upstairs here. Uh, I have made an infograph for it, I'll uh, try to put that into the video, like, uh, see if I can edit it in. Otherwise, uh, don't know how well you can read this. Yeah, I'll try to put that up, but, uh, long story short, uh, yeah, gender and sexual are related, uh, there's, it's essentially slider bars as opposed to just strictly boy-girl type of thing and, you know, straight gay type of thing. So, uh, yeah, basically my slider bar between boy and girl, that's what changes. Physical appearance, that never changes. The, uh, sexuality, it fluctuates a little, but not even slightly remotely as close to, uh, the, uh, boy-girl thing. Uh, I don't don't think anyone's ever really seen me in, like, full girl mode. Oh, although I suppose I should go into uh, that a little bit first. Uh, hi, I'm Tannis. Uh, basically, that's the name that I chose for myself when I'm presenting as a girl. So if you see me, you know, long story short, wearing a bra and uh, some women's clothing, you can count me as Tannis, you can count me as saying she, or if you want to refer to me as that. How often do people actually use physical, like, real names and things like that? It's like, hey, whatever. If you want to use the correct term, it's she and Tannis. Uh, I kind of came to a vague theory of uh, if I'm wearing a green or non-pink bandana, you can count me as a guy. If I'm wearing a pink bandana, count me as a girl. Because more or less, I don't really go outside dressed like a girl. Just, I don't like causing scenes. Well, I've been changing that a little bit more uh, lately. Uh, going out uh, in like a bra and tank top type of thing. And just biking shorts because you know it's hot as like fuck out right now. And uh... Yeah, otherwise, uh, so it doesn't really strictly bounce between, like, straight boy, straight girl type of thing. That's called bi-gender. Um, uh, yeah, it kind of fluctuates back and forth. Uh, there's been times where I've spent, like, a solid month in, like, feeling like a girl. And, uh, you know, uh, other times it'll be for, like, an hour, a few hours, or whatever, just a day or something like that. And, uh, otherwise it can be basically anything in between. There's been days when I've felt, like, absolutely no gender-related anything whatsoever. I just felt it's hard to describe, like neither. Uh, I felt like both. I've had times when it's felt like the bottom half of me is going, the top half is girl. It, it's all over the place. I've been spending the past while just kind of letting it, or letting my gender do its own thing, because for years and years and years and years, uh, I suppose I should give a, a quick rundown of the past. Uh, growing up, I uh, always knew something was off about me. Uh, I liked feminine things every now and then, and uh, never really knew why, because, you know, growing up in the country, that's not really something you can bring up all that easily. And, uh, yeah, just every so often I'd like uh, feminine stuff, and then it would go away and so forth, and basically up until last year, I had no clue what the fuck was up with me. I was just like, all right, so I'm a little fucked up in the head or something like that. And then I stumbled across the word uh, cisgender or gender fluid, uh, and, uh, yeah, basically started researching into the subjects, and uh, gender identity would be the subject that you want to look into if you, you know, want to learn more about it yourself. And, uh, yeah, I'm like, okay, that fits, that fits, that explains all of that, that explains that, that explains... And, yeah, long story short, you know, batting around a pile of terms, gender fluid was the one that just perfectly made sense for me. So, uh, yeah, just, uh, when you see me in person, obviously my physical appearance doesn't change unless I'm wearing makeup or something, which I do like to do. Keep the pink nails. And, uh, yeah, I think my voice may go up slightly, but I have to be really girly for that. And, uh, yeah, how far it kind of slides back and forth. I like to describe it as I go all the way from black metal to Britney Spears. And basically anything in between again. But, yeah, I, yeah, it can go pretty far one way or the other. So uh, I'm guessing that, uh, I'm kind of guessing that that is probably due to me spending, like, you know, 34 or 35, whatever years, essentially suppressing it. Like, I've been hiding all of my feminine mannerisms, crossing my legs, anything like that, kind of mentally keeping tabs on myself and 
kind of controlling that. So a year ago when I started looking into all this, I basically just stopped trying to over control my mannerisms. So uh, if you see me in person lately, you might notice me crossing my legs. That's just me just doing what I actually, or sitting how I actually want to sit. Uh, how I can tell uh, generally uh, if I want to, if you feel like a boy or a girl in the morning, uh, pay attention to the legs. Do I feel like crossing my legs? Odds are I'm feeling more female. Do I feel like splaying them out? Odds are I'm feeling more guy. So all straight and all straightforward. Uh, there's also a thing called uh, or dysphoria. I can't I think there's a pre word to that, but yeah, gender dysphoria. Uh, long story short, uh, when I'm uh, like feeling like a girl, uh, it feels like I should have breasts. Like when I'm not wearing anything like this, it just it feels like something's missing here. Like in my peripheral vision, it feels better upstairs if I see like some kind of curvature here that it just okay. That's how my body is supposed to look, is what my brain is telling me. And when I'm a guy, well, at this point I on. Honestly, don't really even care if I'm wearing women's clothing if I'm feeling more guyish. Like, if it'll bounce back and forth during the day, it can do that. And uh, if I'm uh, kind of swapped to guy mode and I'm wearing women's clothing, more or less, it's all whatever. But, uh, yeah, I think that might have to do also with just the fact that I've been suppressing it for so long, whatever. I'm sure that'll kind of change over time as I kind of, you know, be a little bit more public with the femininity and such. Uh, you're probably going to see more posts on Facebook or a profile picture or something like that eventually. But yeah, long story short, I'm basically, I'm tired of hiding. I've been hiding it all my life. For the past year, I've been kind of discovering myself and more or less hiding it. And uh, odds are when I go out in public or at a friend's place or anything like that, I'm going to dress like a guy just because, yeah, it's easier, causes less stir or whatever. Uh, wouldn't mind going out more as a uh, woman, but... Yeah, where am I really going to go? I want to go to, uh, like, the Club Fame downtown and, you know, dance and a few other things like that, but otherwise just out and about, it really doesn't make all that much of a difference. If I'm, like, specifically busy, I'm not even paying attention to how I look. Uh, yeah, I didn't bother really doing my hair or anything like that this morning, but I just wanted to kind of uh, get it out there. So, uh, Tannis, she, uh... Could go over, I suppose, some of my basic likes and dislikes because, you know, no one's really asked about that either. So I like the color pink, obviously. Uh, my Little Pony I've uh, really enjoyed. Uh, uh, can't really come up with anything else off the top of my head. Those are just some vague generalities. Uh, yeah, go to my Pinterest page. I've been uh, pinning a lot of random stuff there in the uh, girl shit I like. Uh, and otherwise, that's really about it. Just, uh, so that's who I am. Now you know, uh, more about me. Right. Have a nice day.